just want you to share a bit this morning on your journey. What, how did you get into singing? Yo, where do I start? <laughs> oh, my soul. Um, so basically, I have a very musical family. Um, so I've always been singing, whether it's in the shower or with my parents, or I've always just been singing. It's just been one of those things. I grew up with it. And also with some sort of camera in my face, always. Um, so my dad was a photographer for a while. And um, I used to be like his little model and I'll dress up and all tutus and, oh, it never matched. But, it, you know, I was the model and I felt like the queen bee. Oh. <laughs> so that was basically it. And then my sister started singing. And then obviously my older sister, I want to sing as well, you know, follow oh. footsteps. And then after a while she stopped and I carried on. And, um, yeah, the dream of music basically just was born inside of me. And... Um, I tried to pursue it, but obviously Port Elizabeth doesn't have as many opportunities as you'd like. Yes. Um, and I basically just got to a point where I said, you know what, um, it's not going to happen, get a desk job, it's fine. And then um, Mark My Famous came along. I wasn't going to enter because I've never had formal training at all. So um, in my head, I'm still very amateur. <laughs> and then a friend of mine... Um, it's actually weird. She also works at a radio station. Um, mm. She used to basically bug me and say, you have to enter. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. Because, I mean, it's hosted by Emo Adams and Taryn Lamb. Um, so, for me, never having formal training, I didn't think that I would ever be able to meet the expectations, you know. Um, so, she bugged me every day. And she was like, Nalene, you have to enter. And then at the end of the day, I entered just to get her mouth shut. I was like, okay, I entered, like, leave me alone. Yes. And then in December last year, I got the phone call from Emo himself telling me that I'm in. And hey, I made it to the top six, and here I am today. Wow, well done. <laughs> Thank you <You're>, so much. <laughs> what were your, um, what was going through your mind when you actually went through the first time to the next round? How were you emotionally? Mm, so um, when Emo phoned me the first time, I was actually in J-Bay at the moment because I just finished matric and um, a friend of, well, me and my friend, we decided we don't want to go to the rage and all that. That's not our scene. Yes. So just beforehand, we booked ourselves into a hotel for a week. Yes. We just us girls, we are going to just treat ourselves and just have like a little vacation before we have to start with university and all. So I was actually, I just got there, I was unpacking. And I remember throwing my phone on the bed and um, it was on silent for some reason. And <laughs> I looked over and I saw caller ID Emo Adams. And I looked at her and I was like, Kaylin, your phone is ringing. And she's like, uh, uh, <laughs> it's not my phone. And so I answered and he starts speaking and I'm like, actually, I'm going to see the Emo Adams. And he says, yeah. And I have no idea what he said after that. I was just screaming. I was so excited. <laughs> it was incredible. And then the first time I went through, that's actually when he changed my name um, because my surname is Sphinx. And um, the girl that, well, one of the contestants, her name is Nicoline. So no yes. Lee, Nicoline, it's too close to each other. And my friends call me Sphinxy. And then he was like, mm, we have to do something. So he asked me what was my social media name. And I said Sphinxy. And he was like, okay, I think we should go with that. And basically I turned into Sphinxy. Um, but I didn't think it would be as big as it was because my social media suddenly got so many followers. Um, wow. And the training we got was incredible, but I still didn't think I would make it through. So being the emo ticket, um, basically, so Nicoline went through and I didn't. There's only one from a category that can go through. And then he saved me. So I was the emo ticket. So I was wow. very emotional. I was crying and excited and I was like what the hell just happened wow. <laughs> it was incredible really I'm very very grateful wow have you had any um like people uh getting in touch with you that wants to get you to make cds or recording studios that wants you so you see that's the thing um being signed is the ultimate dream um but they don't sign people often Okay. Because it's a lot of money to market you. So at this moment, there's a lot of people wanting to collab with me, like doing things together. But I haven't heard back from recording 
artists okay. recording labels yet. Yet. Okay. Yet. Good. Good. <laughs> so at the moment, um, all this music that I'm producing, I have to pay for myself. Okay. Um, it's a lot of money, but it's very worth it. Oh. It's really, really worth it. That's why I only released one for now. Um, and I do believe that the more I bring out my music, the more I pursue what I want to do, someone is going to see me. Yes. So my big break is going to come. But Amen. until then, I am doing what I love. I'm writing. I am, yeah, I've got so many things on ice at the moment. But um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's time will come. It's time will come. Oh, amen. I just love your positivity because, you know, people sometimes uh, deaden their, by their words. They say, oh, I'm hoping um, something will happen. But you're saying, I know something will come, you know. There's already a breakthrough mm. a possibility for it's that. It's not easy, though. I no. have, I, I have my days. And unfortunately, since social media is so in your face, yes. um, a lot of the times when I go open my Instagram, I have these sponsored posts from new upcoming artists. And then I can't help but go to their pages and be like, yo, I want to be there. And then it really gets me down. It does. I can't, Aww. I can't, yeah, I can't even, <laughs> it, it just does. I can't help it. Um, and then usually I become pretty grumpy. <laughs> but after, <laughs> after a while, oh, no. after a while, I just realized, you know what, there's a reason. Because <laughs> if I look at the music that they produce, it's not the same music I want to produce. I'm yes. not going to be there all dancing. It's not me. I'm yes. not that kind of artist. Yes. So it's going to take the right label. Yes, to I actually do agree. You carry your own true identity. And, and that's actually what I'm very excited about. Because yes. if I do get signed now, I've already released some music. So they won't be able to change the image, you know. Okay. What, so, a, what, is, your, what is your goal for Spinksy to, in years to come? I would like to make music a career. So I wouldn't mind being the next Tara Lamb or Rihanna now or, you okay. know, um, obviously with my own my own voice, my own style. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I would love to write. I would love to sing. I would like to perform. Um, I would just like to touch people. I always said um, I'm all for gospel. I love gospel. Um, but my job as a Christian is to go out and make disciples. Mm. And I always said that, a non-Christian is not going to buy a Bethel concert ticket. Is not going to buy a Kerry Job concert ticket. So the music that I produce is supposed to be for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then my lifestyle is supposed to still show them who God is without mm -hmm. throwing scriptures the whole time. You know, mm -hmm. I can do that and still set the example and reach a bigger crowd mm -hmm. um, of people who really need Jesus, of people who really mm -hmm. need God, without just being a plain gospel singer. I can still do gospel. Mm -hmm. I can still do worship. I am aiming to join our worship team at church again um, because obviously with lockdown, it's been terrible. Yeah. Um, my yo, so that is, that's my ultimate goal. And I know not everyone agrees with that. I know there's going to be a lot of, debates on that topic and I've already had a few um, but yeah that's that's my feeling so for now mm. I'm starting my own performing mm. arts school where I am starting with young children so obviously those children are carrying my name as well yes. the money I make I can put towards my career yes. and then yeah you know I, I have the opportunity to influence people wow. and in Port Elizabeth there's a few schools performing arts schools but there's not enough yes. so there's definitely the need for it and I'm not going to pressure the students into especially with acting you know I'm not going to be like all nude scenes and that kind yes. of stuff you can still do it gospel orientated mm. or at least just know your limits know mm. your worth as an artist that's very important mm. because you are so you are you want fame so much you want to be a success so much that chances are that you lose who you are yes so um yeah so i'm hoping to use my influence in a positive way wow. um and yeah, just wow, follow what exciting. God gave me. How old are you now, Spinksy? I'm 19. Oh my 19. word. <laughs> so this, um, 
this arts and um, lessons that you're going to be offering, what is it called and how can people get in touch with you? So I actually just launched my Facebook page. Okay. It's called SNB. So it's Spring Snow Lean Productions. Okay. Um, so basically for now, I'm only doing vocal and drama since I'm qualified in that. I'm qualified okay. in musical theatre and so on. But obviously, being at Mark My Famous, I have worked with some incredible dancers who were actually contestants with me. And I've actually done a little bit of modeling on the side. So um, as soon as I start, as soon as I officially start my school and I have students, there's going to be some dance workshops and, okay. you know, just to broaden it. And then obviously, mm. as I get more students and I get my place where I want to actually do it, because right now I'm probably going to hire or so on. I'm still looking for a location. Um, so then I'm going to expand. I'm going to do all five parts of... Um, performing arts which is music vocals drama acting and dance dancing did i say dancing yeah modeling dancing yeah, yeah. so those five um so yeah right now it's only on facebook um yeah it's exciting you wow. know i actually just got the registration for my business and then i was like ah! <laughs> so it feels so real okay. um so yeah um entries will open late december or at the beginning of january and then the school will start in february oh that's very exciting, it's very exciting. and what so what age can people enter there's no age limit obviously okay. If you are older than me and you want to um, enroll in the school, um, you are going to have to just realize that I am young. And I know a lot of people don't want younger people telling them what to do. Yes. But it's not because I want to be mean. It's just I'm trying to help. Yes. And it was your choice. Yes. So that's my that's my message to older people who would like to. I have no problem. I love older people. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so it's open to all. Okay. It's wow. open to all. Okay. So um uh you mentioned that you are singing uh like not Christian based music at the moment, but it has a detailed Christian side to it. Mm -hmm. So I think that is very nice because um I know of a church in Port Elizabeth mm -hmm. who is very similar. They oh, wow. don't bash the word of God um, in your face. They do it very subtle mm -hmm. because they also say that they want people to feel comfortable when they walk into the church. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually his vision. Yeah. And um, it is for anybody because if you do that, then you'll get more people. And once you've got them, then you actually gently take them mm -hmm. as a father would um, lead his sheep. You know, mm. so I think that, um, yeah, you will always have critique no mm. matter what you do and uh, what you say to people. But the main focus is just to stay focused mm. because you will always have people that will love you, Spinksy, and mm. then you'll have some people that will not agree with you. And yeah. that is okay because you cannot be Spinksy, wow, amazing Spinksy to mm. everybody. Yeah. But your true identity you carry, you need to expand on that. Mm -hmm. And those that do love you, they will stay committed. Mm -hmm. So, And those that don't like you, they will listen to whichever artist they love. Ima always say to us, even a form of hate is a form of support. Because yes. those people have to watch your music video mm -hmm. to criticize it. He says, for example, he won't just go randomly on Facebook, type in any name he doesn't know yes. and just throw hate comments because he doesn't know what he's talking yes. about. He has to watch that person to yes. be able to comment. Yes. Um, but all in all, I'm all for the move of God. I love worshipping. I love the Holy Spirit when it starts to move. You yes. know, that It's just another atmosphere. Amen. But I think um, I definitely want to... I definitely want to continue worshipping. So I do sing Christian-based music. But yes. as a career, I just feel positive messages um, okay. to reach a bigger crowd. Yes. And then so I'm not going to be ashamed of the gospel. Yes. I will actually by a day like say God is good. God is um, good. Amen. So yeah, but it, it comes and goes. Um, like you said, people won't always agree with Yes, you. yes. And um, Spinksy, if anybody wants to hire you for an event or mm -hmm. 
I'm wedding, <laughs> is it? Yeah. Are you open? Yes. Can I can I um, post your cell phone number on the page? Yeah? Uh, not my cell phone number. Okay, what can um, I post? Yeah, because I'm still in the process of getting like a business number and a cell phone number. It's all good. But um, how can they get in touch with you right now? Right now, I would rather say my Facebook and my Instagram. I'm very very active. Okay. It's just Spinksy, so it's just S P I N K S I E. Um, just send me a message. My emails are on there. So if you rather want to do it like email okay. wise, you can get in touch with me there. Um, okay. So yeah, just okay. Pop me a message. <laughs> okay. So you are also not limited to Port Elizabeth. You are open mm -hmm. to fly anywhere. I am open. Obviously, um, just depends on the dates. Um, okay. I am now doing a very big show. Um, it's a music festival in December the 19th and the 20th in Stellenbosch, Cape Town. Okay. So I'm very excited for that and I've also got a few other um, places lined up. For example, next year in August I'm going to Lim Limpopo. Limpopo. Okay. <laughs> it's always sounds so weird in English. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so I'm all over, all over South wow. Africa. Wow, okay. And this music festival in Cape Town, is mm. there different artists? Um, Very different artists. Is it? Um, and it's all different styles of music as well. It's jazz, and then you've got DJs actually, and then obviously me, I don't know, I sing a little bit of everything. Wow. So um, the Saturday is going to be more the music festival vibe, and then Sunday it's all family. Okay. So um, it's going to be a Christmassy vibe, all Christmas carols. You get your picnic basket and you sit on the grass. Mm. It's very exciting. Food stalls, everything. Um, yeah, so this event is brought to you by LRI Productions. Wow. And tickets are now open for 150 I think. Okay. I'm not sure. I think it's 150 but yeah, you'll can see they it also, the page. They can get those online, right? Yes, but at Quicket. Okay, at Quicket, okay yeah. so there you've all heard it. You can get in touch with the, with the tickets and then you can go and listen to Spinksy, who Yay. will be performing <laughs> live there. And um, are you going to sing a few songs? Or? I have a few songs, yeah. Okay. I have two sets of plus minus 10 songs each, so okay. it's going to be... Quite wow. a lot. My wow. first, my first performance, live performance after more of my famous. So wow. I'm very excited. Okay. It's a challenge. <laughs> sure. Okay. And um, with you coming back from the, you know, the fame and the glam on TV, mm. um, I actually used to watch you on YouTube. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Because I couldn't get those channels. Uh -huh. But then I was like, oh my word, you look so different. You're so grown up. And, Aww. you know, all the dances and the smoke machine and the lights. And That's I was crazy. Like, oh. Yes, see. Um, how has it been coming back to normal life? It's weird because um, I think obviously lockdown makes it worse. Yeah. Because now I had a few events that I was supposed to sing at and then literally just beforehand the lockdown restrictions change and then they cancelled the whole show. So coming back from rehearsing every day, performing every Saturday night, I think it was Saturday night, um, to coming home and just sitting, you know, it's, yeah. that's a struggle. It's, I, that wasn't nice at all. But um, it did give me a lot of time to write. It did give me a lot of time to just come back to normal, mm. to take it all in. Um, one of my biggest fears always have been to, for me to not stay humble. Because I've worked with a few, well not worked with, but I always took part in competitions like the EP essays and performing arts. And I could see how some people, um, they get very entitled if that's yes. the right word afterwards and I always said I don't want to do that don't want to be there and especially being on TV it's so easy for that yeah. to happen and being there I had to stay there for two months um, because we weren't allowed to go back and forth from the top 10 since it was COVID so we had to stay in the house even if you fall out wow. if you fall out in the first round you are there until the end um, so living with all these people in your face the whole time, yeah. coming home and it's just my parents, it's oh, your, sure. or being there for two months and having to do everything yourself and coming yeah. home and now <laughs> I don't have to anymore. It's just, it's, it's weird. It's a shift, you know, accepting yeah. the two different lifestyles. But um, I'm glad it happened though, because it brought me back to earth a little, yes. just to, so that yes. I don't blow up with the grot kop. 
Pancha. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think the humble thing you just said is so important because mm -hmm. for, for all of us that walk the walk and have matured a bit in life and older and that, you know, the humble thing, we have to humble ourselves daily. That wow. is such an important thing you've just said there now. And I, if all of the listeners can agree with me, humbleness is such an important asset to live by. Mm. Ima's manager also said to us, you can be how good in the industry yes. if you are entitled and you make it difficult, you have your diva moments, mm. people aren't going to work with you. No. She said the industry is a lot smaller than you think. Yes. Um, one bad review. And yes. You're out of your job. Yes. So and that I've I've really learned a lot from them. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was wow. it was incredible. Wow. Uh, Spixie, is there any um, hidden desires maybe that you've got deep down inside one day that you would still like to explore Ooh. in? Um, Other than singing and arts and all of that. Oh, yo! Um, I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be a chef, oddly. I actually wanted to be a chef. So okay. I think I would like to do like a just a cooking course or something, just go to culinary school just for the sake of it. I don't think I would ever become a chef okay. because I saw the space you have to work in. Like, uh -uh, I want my whole kitchen to myself. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> so I want to be able to cook for my family. But okay. yeah, all in all... Um, this that I'm doing now was my hidden desire because okay. I, I, I tried to convince myself I'll be okay without it because yes. the MPE is not going to happen, unfortunately. Yes. Um, the opportunity isn't here. So that was my hidden desire. Um, but now I'm living it. So yeah. I'm very grateful. But you can make it happen in Port Elizabeth. I can, but it's... It, it's see, so much harder, hey? There's, there's no shows... In PE, and that's mm. that's where you 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 don't really make money, or you can't make a living off of just producing music. Yes. Um. If you look on Apple Music, for example, it's like eight rand, nine rand for a song. Yes. Um. So that won't bring enough profit to mm. keep you afloat or to of course, yes. be a living. Um. So your main money, um, main income is at events, corporate events. And South Africa, well, not South Africa, Port Elizabeth, um, only only has a few in like J-Bay, maybe one or two a year, but it's not, mm. it's not enough at all. And then they only have like the big artists, established artists. So right now for me, I have to travel to Cape Town most of the time or Johannesburg or somewhere like that. So um, I have to go somewhere else to make it, okay. that makes sense, and then understand. come back, and yes. then I can start the opportunities for other young people here. Yes. Um, that's the only way you will be able to make it in Port Elizabeth. Okay. Um, there isn't really even enough recording studios. Like, I had to, my song I had to do in Cape Town. Wow. Um, so it's, there's, there's really a lack in the industry in Port Elizabeth. There isn't... It's not up to stand. It's not where it should be. That's also okay. why I want to start my school. Okay. Um, yeah, because I've always I've I've tried a few lessons. I've tried a few um, singing lessons, mm. and then instead of coaching my voice, they coach me movement. <laughs> then a serious song, I have to. Okay, guys won't see it, but if you're watching the live, um, a serious song, I have to like. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. So, um, oh. yeah, uh, so I would like to give quality coaching. I would like to just make a difference. Yes. And by that, I'm not saying that the schools that are here in Port Elizabeth are not just, I'm just saying the few that I experienced is Yes. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, you've also experienced a different quality of vocal training now. Yeah. So, it's going to be difficult to mm -hmm. go to your normal recording. Mm -hmm people or vocal person that just teaches for the one that actually doesn't know anything. Mm -hmm. You see, I had the privilege to not only work with Emo and Taryn, but also with um, Leah, um, also Early B, yeah. um, also Jared Ricketts, Burmese West from last year. Um, these people are incredible, and I had the opportunity to actually see them, to watch them, to work with them, mm -hmm. like Leah, for example. 
Um, so I really, I think I've experienced a lot. And at the moment, experience counts more because you can learn something from a book and still want to coach movement, which at the moment isn't what you're supposed to do. If you are, for example, singing, you should connect to the song and then the body will follow. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think... I think experience is what counts in my favour. I am qualified. I did study at the Trinity Drama of London College. Um, so I am qualified, but I think the the experience is what's going to make the difference. Okay. Um, yeah, and I really do think, I really want every artist to have been able to get the opportunity I did. It was, I learned so much and I thought I was okay, <laughs> but I learned so much. Mm. So it's, I really just want to share that. Okay. What was the most hardest challenge that you had to face being the, um, on the show? The internet trolls, definitely. Okay. Um, so basically I actually fell out in the top 20 round. Um, cause how the first two rounds work is, um, there's only three female vocalists, only three male vocalists, only three dancers and so on. Um, and then only one of the three can go through to the next round. So you can be how good if the other person gets like one vote more, you leave, unfortunately. Sure. So that's what happened to me in the first round and then Emo saved me with his Emo ticket. And then in the top 20, I was singing against the same girl and then she beat me again. <laughs> and then, um, so I fell out. And it was actually hectic. I didn't want to unpack. I said to my mom, I, I'm going back. I just know I'm going back. And she was like, you uh-uh. Because, I mean, I fell out. So, I, basically, realistically speaking, there's no way that I'm going back. Mm. Um, there is a voting back stage at the competition, but it's only for a feature. So, I will just be performing as a guest artist. I'm not physically going to be in a competition. But I kept telling them, I'm going back, I'm going back. And everyone thought I was crazy. And then um, lockdown happened, so they had to put the show on hold for a while. And then um, one duet item, they were from Namibia. And then um, obviously they couldn't, they weren't allowed to cross the border, so they couldn't come. And then they had, the Mark by Famous had to drop them. And then Emo called me back. Now I am very, very sad for them because I know obviously it's something they wanted. But for me, I was so excited because I told them I'm going mm. back, and here it is. Um, so obviously, all of their people they were very angry, and um, a lot of people thought that I don't deserve to be there because I mm. actually fell out. So it doesn't matter what I did, how good I sang. Mm. Um, if I went on Facebook. After the show, I would have like hundreds of hate comments on the Mark mm. My Famous um, page. And I actually didn't know about it. So the first performance, I was so excited because I, me and Enrico did a duet. And um, to me, it, did, it went pretty well. Um, yeah. And I was very proud of myself. Because yes. they all rehearsed their duets like before lockdown. So they all knew it off by heart. And yeah, I come three days before and I learn a song. And I, we gel. And I really do think it went well. Um, and I come home and some of the contestants, they're like, don't go on Facebook. Sure. And I was like, why? And they're like, no, just don't go on Facebook. And... When I gone on, I, yeah. it was just hate everywhere. And I remember crying. It was terrible. Mm. And then the next day, Emo actually came to our house and he spoke to me. And um, that really helped. But I couldn't help after every performance to go check anyway. Yeah. And I think there was only a few positive comments, but mainly mm. it was just hate. Just hate. And it was, it was really bad um, seeing all these people around me um, all the contestants, they not only did their fan base grow, but if we if we went somewhere by some miracle, people would stop them for photos or like, oh my word, three GP, like, and mm. then I would be standing right next to them, and the only time they would ask me for a photo is like in a group photo, you know, oh. like I wasn't I wasn't the favorite because they were angry at me. They mm. thought they thought I wasn't supposed to be there, and. Um, sure. Emo really, he spoke a lot to me. He was like, remember, there are followers of the show and there's followers mm. of you. Mm. He said, go to your, your, your own socials. And did they grow? And I said, yes. 
and he said to me, those people are the people you should be focusing on. Mm -hmm. And it really did. My mm -hmm. socials really did grow. But unfortunately, the hate grew as well. And I was the only one actually receiving hate. Um, some of the contestants would seriously mess up and then um, they would still receive all the love and I would pour my heart out on the stage. And it, it, it was really hard. It was really, really hard, like having to face that alone. And then sometimes, sometimes when I do crack, people would be like, oh, like deal with it. But it's not, it's not that easy because they're not experiencing it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was definitely the hardest part. Um, obviously, there was a lot of other challenges as well. Um, some things being said, um, some vocal stuff that I really found hard. But the worst definitely was being alone with my laptop, having to see the comments. And I know everyone says I should stay off of the comments, like I shouldn't read them at mm. all. But I can't because um, mm. that if, if the public doesn't like me, I don't have a career. Yes. You know, so I have to know what they are saying mm. um, because sometimes it has, it has, it's a valid point. So mm. then I can learn from it. But, yo, it was brutal. It was brutal at times. Mm. Yeah. You know, um, I think for me, my own experience, if you carry a mantle on your life, mm. people will always not like you. And I think because a lot of people are this there to win, and mm. there for a show, um, uh, they don't have a mantle spiritually. Um, they will not get the critic mm. that you are getting. So you are fighting both worlds, which is quite challenging. But great is he that's within you. And it's so yeah. exciting because you're still so young. And mm. you are still going to grow so much more. And I just see you like, you. I think it's Carrie Job that um, sang this amazing Grace song in front of thousands of audience and how she just spoke to the young people. It was super amazing. I actually look at that clip often. And I just think, you know, it's she testifies out of her own life mm. um, a story to the young people. And I just see you like that, you know, thousands and you are going to be able to counsel other people who got critics. So God will not be able to use you mm. if you have not gone through it. Uh, if it was believer. easy, it would just not be the mm. same. Mm. I also experienced a lot of bullying at yeah. a stage. Um, and it's actually funny that you mentioned um, the talking to younger girls because yeah. um, I am actually part of... I don't know if it's not really an organization. It's just a thing we do every year. Ladies of the future. Unfortunately, this year it didn't happen mm -hmm. um, because of lockdown and all of these stuff. Um, but what we do is there's people from different fields, like yes. Shepherd's Fields. Um, they actually teach the girls about drugs and all. And I usually take the bullying section. Okay. And... Um, I actually said to my mom, I wouldn't mind like taking it over someday or just doing something <laughs> like that. I don't know. I just want to. Wow. I, I want to help people. And mm. I think that's amen. why I'm starting the school. Wow. Amen. So, um, you know, that is very exciting. And because she released it, you will get even bullied more now because <laughs> the enemy is not happy with you. Yeah. So um, I, often people have told me, Tanya, um, if you don't get attacked spiritually, you must get worried. Mm. Because if you are not a threat to the enemy, then you will not get any um, harsh true. words, any mm. people speaking bad about you. I actually get excited when people don't like me now. Mm. Because I'm like, yay, Lord. I'm doing something right. <laughs> I am going like a jet. And the other people are just tagmenting. So you just keep what you're doing and your passion and your heart. And mm. You will, you will reach for the stars, but in a good way, you know, not prideful or anything. Mm. So that is very exciting. So we are going to play Spinksy's new song. Spinksy, what is your new song called? So it's called Verbode Verlange. It's an Afrikaans song, so I'm sorry if you don't understand, but just listen to it. <laughs> okay, so we are going to listen to it shortly. And... um. Yes, so do stay tuned and then we will be back shortly.
Just good morning. You're choosing to go up there. That's not the best of luck. I leave the box. <laughs> That's not the best of luck, sorry. That's <laughs> okay. Ik is goed dat hij nou is er, dan heeft ze ook het verkeerd voor in het. Dat is hij. Dat is hij. Ja, dat is hij. Dit is awesome, nee? Oké, okay, ze so zeggen voor mij, is, 